Hello, hello. Okay, right. Mic looks good. Hello, welcome back. Time for some uh, some more caves of cud. I've been uh, I've been dying itching to play this uh, over the weekend, but I've refrained from doing so because every time I play cud on my own, I have really mad runs, and I don't know. I I want to share that with everybody, you know. So um. Hey Basilia, how you doing? Good to see you as always. Hope you've had a great weekend. Uh, what have you been up to? Anything good this weekend? Did you watch the Super Bowl? I think that was on uh, this weekend, right? It was a good weekend. Brilliant. Anything special planned? Your parents watched it. You tortured a friend. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Um, what kind of torture are we, are we talking about? Iron Maiden? Waterboarding? Uh, oh, that's a... Okay, that's a typo that you uh, you don't want to make. You tutored a friend. See, that makes... From what I know about you, Basilio, that makes a lot more sense. In pre-calc. Oh, God. Terrifying. But you seem really good at that kind of thing, like from uh, from the Discord chat with all of the the numbers for prosthetizing th stuff. Um, well, hopefully it, it wasn't torture to your friend. Uh, <laughs> what kind of uh, pre-calc stuff were you, were you doing? Is it anything that a, a layman like myself could understand? I haven't done any kind of... Um, you know, high level mathematics since uh, since university, so it's been quite a while for me. I'm still thinking about you when you taught me that, um, what was it? The average roll on a D6 is a 4, and that makes sense now, but it's something I never thought about beforehand. So on a D8, that would be um, that would be five. No, it was a D8. Sorry, yeah, a, uh, the average roll on a on a D8 is is a five. Crazy, mind, oh, kind of mind blowing to be honest. Okay, good, yeah. Easy stuff for you, maybe not. Maybe not for me. I went to um. I went with my friends to a. Have you ever seen Bridget Jones' Diary? <laughs> they were showing it at a theatre, and it was like um. You know, it was, it was like people were dressed up. There were like balloons and confetti everywhere. There was a little disco afterwards. It was amazing. You. Uh, you were drinking wine. You when you uh, when you bought your ticket, you got a free straw, and uh, I mean, obviously, you still have to buy your wine. Um, so just kind of sat there with a couple bottles and enjoyed the movie. I'd never seen it before. Yeah, I kind of liked it. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. It it was amazing. It was so good. I had wine. I had hot dog. I had popcorn. I mean, it was expensive. A bottle of wine, I paid £28 for a bottle of Malbec. I could have bought that for £8 in a shop. But you couldn't sneak it in. They were checking everybody's bags. Because normally that's something that I would consider. By the way, today's run... Uh, I just came up with this today. I want to try like a... um. Granted, it's another mutant build. We will do some Trukin at some point. It's uh, like a bird man. A bird man who spews poison. We're going beak. We've got wings. We've got corrosive gas. We've got sleeping gas. We've got... Something else that I've forgotten about. Um, 
and well i'll show you when i when i let me load up card here i do also want to do the irritable genome run where you just take a whole bunch of mutations and you see what see what gets leveled up but you know today i think today is more of a chill stream as opposed to uh like a challenge stream you know Did you play any card this weekend? Uh. Hey, you killed Mammon. Nice. I've never recruited Indrix. Imagine he's pretty good. Um, I believe he can decapitate, right? Level 25. Very nice. Are you still alive? Or did that character perish? You didn't uh, wear the amaranthine prism, right? I know I did when I did that. Okay, still alive. Amazing. Have you done um, Bethesda Sousa yet? This is the turtle character. Amazing. Yeah, Carapace has become one of my favorite uh, mutations. Yo, yo, yo. Hello, Vasco. How you doing, man? Hope you had a good weekend. Good to see you back. You know what? I'll go by Ray. I'll go by Ray. You can call me Ray, it's fine. It's not that far off my real name, to be honest. You can probably do Bethesda Sousa just fine at level 25. But don't hold that against me if, um, <laughs> if, if it doesn't work out. By the way, I made a new... Uh, let me show you before I jump into Cud here. I made uh, made this semi-cursed, but not as cursed as the previous Pog face. <laughs> you know, that one's a bit more stylized to uh, the rest of the emotes. Yeah, you got, you got it, Basilia. It'll be fine. All right, let's uh, let's hop on in to the game now. How was your weekend, Vasco? You get up to anything good? Uh, okay, new game. This is the preset that I uh, I built this morning. I will go back through it all. Uh, what do we do here? Escape. Yeah, so... We are an Arcanaut. You got to level 10 on Sunday. You went through a friendly looking door and got teleported to a pyramid. Halfway... That's rough. Yeah, that's very rough. You mean a chrome pyramid or... Either way, that's that's messed up. Rip. <laughs> yeah, level ten is uh is not the level to be encountering that kind of shenanigans. I'm going Arcanaut here for extra agility. Here are our mutations. We have a beak. Just because we're role playing as a as a bird. Extra egos nice as well we have corrosive gas because i've been really enjoying this and knowing how well it scales into like mid to late game very exciting height and quickness just for you know we're going to be swooping a lot because we also have wings so i feel like the extra quickness is going to probably be quite handy photosynthetic skin just because i couldn't really pick what else to have and it's extra quickness um Sleep gas. I was trying this out this weekend. If you stack sleep gas and corrosive gas and just pop them at the same time, it, it's insane. You can just stand there in the gas whilst everything kind of tries to get to you and just falls asleep and is poisoned. It feels kind of cracked. Uh, we have wings. Uh, wings are going to be great for not getting lost and not being hit in melee because as you'll see our hp is going to be quite low 
Brittle bones is our defect because we're a bird, right? Um, I don't think... I am open to taking some mental uh, mutations. But I wasn't quite sure which one. I did like... I did want to try out light manipulation again because it's been a while since I've done that. And it would be good to have um, like a reliable ranged attack. Uh, what else was there? Yeah, Mental Mirror was, was uh, initially the one that I absolutely picked. But here's the thing. If you take wings, right? Not only do you obviously jump and charge further, and that scales. But you also have 20% move speed while sprinting at level 1. So if we do come across any... Uh, you know, nasty head exploders. I'm, uh, I'm thinking we can just try and run away to a new map. You know, but mental mirror, I, I'm almost considering, sorry, I hit my mic. I'm considering maybe then getting, uh, getting rid of photosynthetic skin and taking mental mirror. You know what, Basilia, let's do it. Let's take... I mean, photosynthetic skin is just one I picked kind of at random. It's something I never really take. So that, I think Mental Mirror costs two, right? Yeah, which is super cheap. Yeah. I agree. I just wanted skin for the extra quickness and the, and the cooking because I do plan on getting into cooking with this run as well. Uh, here are our stats. Below average strength, fairly good agility, below average toughness. Okay, intellect, because I do want to tinker and cook. Willpower is pretty good. Ego's lacking, but that's fine. Uh, that I will maybe consider bumping up a little now. If I maybe take one point from toughness and put those both... Uh, I think strength could probably go down slightly found the regen buff isn't impressive if your base regen is crap yeah agreed um no you know what i'm gonna keep it as is i'm just gonna have 15 15 Normally, toughness is a great give me at the start of a, a run. Um, but I don't know. I, I, I I'm not I'm not entirely convinced that taking like uh, when I first started playing card, I read that 18 toughness is like you know the the bare minimum you should start a new character with. But I say screw that. Um. We're just going to not get hit. We're going to go for a high dodge value this run. We're going to be flying most of the time. We just really don't want to fight people who are using cudgels, especially because of brittle bones. We'll take like a whole bunch more damage than usual. We'll give this, this run a go here. Uh, I haven't really come up with a name yet. Oh, this was a test for my stinky character that I made earlier. Um we got we've got so we're we're basically we're a pigeon man right we can be like uh i like a little alliteration of course it could be like i don't know peter pigeon or speed tank i'm i'm gonna do a high speed run at some point where we like go for quickness above everything else and just try and absolutely ob obliterate everybody um, we're gonna be. What's a cool bird, chat? I don't. I'm. I'm not really. Uh, not really a fan of birds. Yeah, high willpower is absolutely what we're gonna be doing. The bird can't be too cool, by the way. We can't be like an albatross or something.
There we go, look. I'm doing it. This is Albatross. I kind of hate... I, wait, let me, let me just make a quick adjustment here. No, that looks even worse. No, that looks terrible. There we go, Albatross. Your Batross and our Batross. Do Joppa. I know it's boring starting in Joppa every time, but it's free stuff, you know. The game didn't crash, so I'm taking that as a, a good sign right here. Alright, say hello to Albatross. Let's take a look. Here's all of our stuff. Beak, obviously, we don't need to level that up at all. I find it weird that Beak gives you one extra ego. I don't know, I feel like it should be the other way around. It should take one ego, because that's kind of gross. Uh, Mental Mirror. We don't have a debuff to that, which is good, because our ego is good enough, I suppose. Wings, we need at least level 6 as soon as possible. And corrosive and sleep gas. Uh, they'll have about a 24 turn cooldown at the moment with our willpower. Yeah, we definitely won't be putting every ability point into willpower, but like 90% of them, should we get that many. Uh, it will be between willpower and maybe a little bit more agility down the road. Um... But it will most mostly be willpower for sure. Uh, let's see what gear we start with here. Pocketed vest, which is extra DV, which is nice. We got our beak. Which I think... Okay, there we go. Actually, no, I don't want this. We can occasionally peck at things, which would be nice. Hey, and Lino. How are you doing? Hope you had a good weekend. Uh, beak used to be one point defect minus one ego you know i thought it did that's why i was very confused when i picked it initially i was like wait beak gives plus one ego instead of minus one ego Let's see what we actually start with here in terms of items we have some canned have it all whole bunch of grenades which means the argive quest is done already and a toolkit. Of course, because we're uh, an Arcanaut. So, let's uh, just take the basic quests here. Hated by flowers. Imagine being hated by flowers. You must have to be such an ass to be hated by flowers. Um, let's do a little, uh, little raiding. Sell that. Oh, and before I forget, let me, um... Okay, fly is nine. Gas, one and two. Sweet. Oh, thanks for the, uh, the cheese coin. Or the cheese contribution. We must be pretty close to that now. Another weird artifact here. Stun gas grenade. Right, sweet. One thing I do want early on, and if we can get one, is a uh, a decent ranged weapon. Yeah, it's just cheese now, not cheese coin. Ooh, an elastin skull cap this early on. That would be nice. You hate flowers. IRL or Justin Cud? I love flowers. I used to be a florist. I think they're really cool. Couple of carbide daggers. Nice. Alright, well that's something to think about. Let's go hand in some of these real quick. Uh, 
take the defoliant and take the acid gas all right we got our first level there now we can loot these i will buy the ammo from tam real quick i forgot to do that and we're gonna put our first mutation point i guess into wings but uh, it doesn't really matter I've been loving corrosive gas. You know what? Let's just chuck it into wings. I'm going to try and level these three up uh, as a priority. And then quickness and mental mirror will, will... I mean, I'd rather have the quickness initially over mental mirror. Take this. And... Those one of those that give us that gives us 23 just give me a couple of these thank you for the cheese you mean in card because of, yeah the explosive things are kind of annoying cool for chain reactions thanks for using the uh the emote vasco what kind of flowers do you guys like in real life, by the way? There's so many amazing flowers I've seen. Oh yeah, and by the way, here are our... We do have swift reflexes, which is nice, because that's going to help us a lot whilst we're flying. Our spry is just good, right? Short blade. We don't have Tinker 1 yet, because we don't have 19 intelligence. But that will be one of the first things we get. Likewise, I would like meditation quite early on because of our lower HP. And I think we're ready to leave. Um, now, I think uh, you were telling me and Lino that I can control move to swoop in a certain direction, right? Which is really handy to know. Do we want to peek this place? Um, there we go, we fell down. Uh, no, we're just gonna go. We're gonna go straight to, uh, to the Rust Wells right now. Yeah, the Force Attack Command should swoop. That's so good to know because it would be almost unbearable to have to do that manually each time, like I used to. Um,. No baboons, please. Uh, immediately, I see a hulking baboon. Um, Alright, we need a torch. There we go. And I guess we can just equip this wooden buckler for now. Alright, we are still flying, which is great. Oh my god. Baboons, dude. Oh, this is bad. This is the one thing I didn't want to encounter early on. Protect me, goats. I immediately fell down. Wow, this guy kind of deserves to die, to be honest. Alright. Come over here, please. Okay, we're prone again. I can already tell this is going to be a difficult start. But you know what? Let's just kill some friggin' kudzu for now. don't mind regular baboons it's just the hulking ones that i'm i'm really not looking forward to by the way each level of corrosive gas makes the gas higher level the level 
X gas deals X damage per turn too. So level five gas deals five damage. Right, yeah, that's correct. And you release it for longer as well, right? I think I'm just going to try and swoop this guy. Okay, that was a mistake. Prepare to be gassed. Stop running. Okay, there we go. Um, give me corrosive gas. That's an extra round of gas and more damage. And I'm going to put my first point into willpower. Mm -mm -mm. You release the gas longer, letting you get high density, and the gas gets more powerful. Potential scales exponentially. Right, okay. Awesome. Jump is going to be amazing at some point if we get the strength for it. But for now... Okay, yeah, we don't have the... I think I'm going to take probably... Cooking would be nice. I do want to get cooking as early as possible. And we can learn harvestry for free in Joppa. I forgot to do that. Just give me cooking for now, that's fine. What do we get from tactics? Charge likewise is going to be good, so just give me early tactics for now. That's an investment into our future. I could also be killing these goats, I think. Um. Okay, we are... Oh, we were already flying. Alright, let's have a look what we got around here. Alright, we're down. I do see the baboon over there. Come here. There we go. I don't think I've missed any wire yet. Until we get level 6 flight, this is going to be quite annoying to have to keep flying. Yeah, well, turrets are always a pain. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to... F we're going to have to get, like... Uh, that's why I want to get my tinkering fairly good, so that we can... Um, just get a good weapon, a good ranged weapon, and... Maybe build something, like an engine rifle or something. If you fly, well, let, let's test this actually. Then, uh, well, we could fall, which is always a possibility. But if I if I fly right here, and I move over this square, and I press, okay, that's cool. So you can't just float down. I hear you, Basilia. Um, acrobatics is a huge early game for the extra DV. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like acrobatics is and tactics are two things that are kind of work for most characters. So if I step here. Hmm. How? Okay, I guess we aren't technically underground just yet. All right, we are now. We're no longer flying. Oh yeah, we have, uh, we start with Scavenger, which is always nice. You know what I'm looking for now is that really cursed room that has about 50 kudzu in it, and I'm just going to start gassing them.
All right, level four. Beautiful. Um, give me sleep gas. Don't have enough points to really do anything good just yet. What the hell was that? It was a strange noise. I don't know what what that actually was. Bizarre. What did we take, by the way? We took cooking, didn't we? We did buy cooking. Yeah, okay. Sweet. So, do, do you guys in chat, do you take, um, do you take wings very often? I feel like it's very, um, obviously it has its limits, aka anytime you're underground, but... Oof, that's not, I need to be careful of bleeding out, for sure. Alright, please, okay, there we go. Because I, I very rarely take wings, to be honest. When I first started playing card, I took them all the time. Then I kind of stopped. I think maybe I thought they were bad. I think objectively they they are good though. Yeah, true. But you know, it also oh, I got an artifact. It also helps. Um, you know, ov overground travel on the map is uh is pretty great with these. Is a good gas room, I think. Oh no, you rusted my artifact. Alright, we are bleeding right here, so this maybe could be the end unless you have a bandage. Which you do not. Alright. You mostly take it on dedicated. Did, did something just get... Hmm. Something get rusted just then. No. Okay, I think I imagined it. Yeah, Witchwood's amazing. Can I still ID this even if it's broken? I can indeed. See a pretty nice hammer. Um... Yeah, something got rusted then. I hate that it doesn't tell you in the... Yeah, a copper nugget. It doesn't tell you in the log what gets rusted, it just tells you on the on the actual map. I'm gonna shoot this guy, please. Time to eat. Sure. Whenever you take damage, to yeah, rubbish. Okay. Yeah, I used to be really scared of melee and kudzu, but this early on, I'm like, you know what, we don't have anything valuable. I really don't mind. Right, I don't think we've missed any copper wire so far that we've come across. No, good. Do some scavenging here. Carbide arrows. Hmm. Interesting.
Where'd that spider go? Okay, we no longer have our toolkit. Maybe I am uh, pushing my luck a little bit here. Sorry, dog. Are you going to hate me? No, you're good. Okay, now you hate me. Okay, that's why I really don't want to fight. Come over here, please. There we go. Okay. The wings has been boosted. Give me some more corrosive gas, please. We also now have enough points to take... Uh, we could take Tinkering, level 1 now. Oh no, we can't. What? What is our... Inter okay, no, never mind. We are a short blade build, so I am open to maybe getting a uh, jab. Or perhaps Bloodletter. What does a beak... Is a beak a short blade? Yeah, that's a problem with, with using gas, is that um, as soon as uh, your gas touches... No, it doesn't count as short blade, as far as I know. Um, a friendly, they become hostile, so you've got to be really careful using it. Uh, oh yeah, let me, uh, let me buy something here. I mean, I guess wayfaring is always good, right? Uh, same with... I'm going to get bow and rifle, actually. I'm also open to using pistols. Like, akimbo would be cool. Yeah, that's kind of the one thing keeping me away from uh, from taking it as well, Vasilia, is the fact that we are... We are very fragile. Let that do the work there and just get some passive XP. Nice. I'm being shot by something. Crank the Witch, thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, right now we're all about road. I mean, we, we are mainly focusing on card at the moment, but... Um, yeah, plenty more roguelikes to come, for sure. Hope you're well, Frank the Witch. Hope you had a good weekend. Thanks again for the follow. Really appreciate it. Are you, are you a big player of CUD, Frank? Ah, there you go. That answers my question. You're deeply addicted to CUD. I know, right? It's... I'm, like, genuinely blown away by how great this game is. Uh, what do I, I wanted to check there. Did they rust my... They did rust my dagger. Alright, well, I guess we won't be using any melee weapons uh, <laughs> for a little while. That's fine. We don't need them. Why use your hands when you can use your gas? And also tear through walls. Look at this. This is pure chaos. I love it. Oh yeah, do I do I have disassembly? Uh No, okay, I'm going to get disassembled then. Rig off spider. Become gassed. Uh no thanks. I mean, I will take the shotgun shells. There's no way in hell I'm fighting that. No, stop going over there. You don't need to go over there. Why are you going down here? There's nothing here. Here. Da -da 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 -da. There. We're good now. Okay. Man, the, the auto-explore needs a little work. I don't know why he keeps going down there. There's 
nothing there. Um, you're a new player, but addicted. You got to Golgotha and died three times. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think that's probably most people's experience when you're starting out playing card, right? And if it's not Golgotha, it's Bethesda Sousa. I don't actually think... I've been streaming this game now for like three weeks. I don't think we've um, beat Bethesda Sousa just yet. We've gotten um, we've gotten there a couple times, but then I always get cocky and I'll go elsewhere and I'll be like, oh, we can handle this, and then I'll die in, like horribly. Yeah, pick up the arrow, please. Okay, do we have... I think so. Do you remember all of the artifacts that we picked up in the previous run? Uh, Warden Brickhead. We were doing a high in high strength, low intelligence run last week, and it was going really well. We made it to like level twenty one, and we had about I don't know how many artifacts we picked up, but because our character was stupid, he couldn't understand any of them. But we maybe had like I don't know fifty artifacts. Good risk hygiene. I I love that's a great phrase. I've never heard it described like that before. All right, this is bad, by the way. Um, this could be it for us. Okay. Just go hide over here and heal up. Um, that's a cannibal. Come over into my gas cloud. There we go. Wait for my gas to come back here. There you go. And now we wait. And we just collect the XP. <laughs> uh... Love it. Uh, that's kind of scary. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's that one done. We, we, that, that's a... Like, we, the first run is always just a, a freebie, right? Like, it's a test, yeah? Now the real game starts. <laughs> exactly, Kovi. Good to see you. Hope you had a good weekend. Thanks for coming back. This is, this is going to be... Frank... The Falcon... Yeah, slug snouts are, are rough early on. We're going to do a... Uh, let's see. Mm. We're going to do salt marsh start, I think, this time. Yeah, slug snouts underground are going to be uh, a big issue for us. Ooh, a throne. I like that sound. Can you hear that? Yeah, I, I named I named Frank the Falcon after you, Frank the Witch. Okay, that's a friendly. See, I see a kudzu, and my my instincts are to kill it immediately. But that's actually friendly. It looks like we can still. Oh no, that guy will see us. Are you are you a member of this? I don't know. I don't know if I still, if they'll get angry. I think they might. Okay, something is uh, teleporting, it looks like. Oh man, there's so many chests here. And an obscene amount of doors, to be honest. 
Okay, nice. Let's genocide the wildlife around the village as a start. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, twinning lampreys. Actually, no. Uh, God, I hate these things so much. What are you? You're a warden. Interesting. Where's your twin? Unless these are all your twin, maybe. No, this is a... Ah, this is the triple one. Okay. By the way, this is... This is a... My nomination for the worst enemy in the game. Or the most annoying enemy in the game. Uh, what about you? We're looking for... War and Nishirok. Okay. Makes a really good warden. It's also pretty much impossible to kill by regular means. We need to sit in a sanctified armchair um, in a ranch. Easy. Already done. And the other guy was we this guy i really want to loot these chests i know i shouldn't but i probably will oh you're right here okay yeah have some water why not cracked bench fine yeah we'll name our crocosins would be an amazing sidekick hmm it would also uh yeah, hell yeah, let's do it. Let's try and get farm some warden rep then. Uh, what are we going to call these crocodiles? We'll call them... Um, Flippy Rocky. There we go. And we'll have uh, dark green. You teach harvestry. Yes, I will have it. Um, anyway, give me a quest, please. Uh, we need to... Recover a sacred goat corpse. Very metal. I'm down for it. Okay. And finally, let's quickly speak to the thingy and see what recipe they have here. You're not Tam. You'll never be Tam. How dare you stand where he stood. Um. Oh, we started with Scaled. Kind of useless, but also kind of nice. Do you have anything interesting? Not really. We haven't leveled up yet. No, we haven't done anything yet. So uh, let's get out of here. And mark on our map these two quest locations. All right. We could also visit the, uh, the ruins of Joppa here as well. And again, let's equip a torch. Here we go. Alright, we're knocked prone, that's fine. I will take this. Do you drop anything else? R.I.P. Argive. Okay, that's still there. It makes me sad that the cat is dead. Or, or just missing. And one more quest up here. I think it's still here, right? This statue, does it does it get destroyed or something? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, no, no, there it is. Let's take a look. Right, let's keep going. 
Um, no, not yet. Are you free or not friendly? Interesting. Well, then become gassed, my friends. Please don't touch the horses. Please move. I don't want to fight you. Of here. <laughs> this is rough. This is really rough. I'm actually considering getting rid of brittle bones. I feel like it's um it's just rough. Just need to make it through like the first five levels or so, you know. What do you think? Keep it or get rid of brittle bones? Maybe we could take um Here's what I'm thinking, right? We're currently Arcanaut. The agility is good, acrobatics and spry is, is great, right? But, also, if we start as a gunslinger, we do start with a Kimbo and two extra agility. So let's try this, right? We'll keep... What do we have down here? We have Mental Mirror. We can take Hooks for Feet, which I guess is fine you can also i think these count as no they don't count as short blades what am i talking about um i do like quantum jitters i find it's really fun but again i, d I don't know if it's going to be conducive to um Yeah, I, I do think we need to get rid of uh, Brittle Bones, because I do occasionally want to use melee, because it, uh, there will be times where we want to make the most of our sleep gas proccing, right? Um, I mean, it does say bludgeoning attacks, but it just seems like early game... Yeah, I know the willpower will, will give us more more mental armor, but um, I don't know. Let's see. This leaves us with two points, right? Which means, in theory, we could take something like I don't want albino. I'm open to carnivorous. Cold-blooded, I really don't want. Although we do have extra quickness, so let's actually see. Your base quickness is reduced by 10. Your quickness increases as your temperature increases and decreases as your temperature. Okay. Can you, like, crack the game if you take cold-blooded and, like, a fire... spell? Because that would be interesting. You're just getting, like, an obscene amount of uh, quickness. But birds aren't cold-blooded, are they? No. Uh, what else can we have? I, I'm actually open to irritable genome on this character. 
Right, okay. Thanks, Basilia. Yeah, I had no idea. I am open to irritable genome. And tonic allergy is fine. Cold-blooded would suck if we make it to as far as Bethesda Sousa. Oh, okay, that's not worth it. Plus five is rubbish. Alright. Let's do this. I mean, I'm 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 open to taking the EMP, but I've had some terrible times where um, this is procced at like just the wrong time. Um, Eleven to twenty rounds. I'm open. Let's try it. Let's do it. Well, yeah. See, and yeah, exactly. Like. Irritable is fine. I don't mind it leveling up whatever because everything that I want to level up. I mean, there's only f there's four different things here it can level up. And if I took maybe, I don't know, Fictha and Night Vision. This does level up, right? Photosynthetic skin can be leveled. Is that right? Or, or is it just a static um, mutation? It can be leveled. Okay, well then I don't want it. Um, give me this. Yeah, that's what I thought, Basilia. I wasn't sure though if... Um, I mean, I don't want Kindle. Sense Psychic, whatever. Telepathy, whatever. So let's try this, just for now. And then... Maybe I drop, like... One point of agility. And put it into toughness. Or we can, like, forego... And bump this up one more time. And then have 17 agility. Let's let's try this out. Dream being coming from early trip to Ed Oh yeah, wait, no, we don't we don't need um We got rid of mental mirror, didn't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna take one point out of um ego and I'm gonna put it back into agility. There we go. That looks good to me. With some kind of uh Just give me the friggin' job a start. We're gonna pa we're gonna power through this start right now. Alright, here we go. Boom. Alright, we've got a scoped chrome revolver. Nice. We don't have anything that we can use as a melee weapon. Need to remember that. Uh, what do we have? We have a whole bunch of lead slugs. Okay, cool. And we just start with pistol, which is okay. I'm going to get acrobatics as soon as possible. How low are you talking in terms of uh, ego? Oh, well, maybe we can show... If I get to level 6... Slight. I might be able to take you to Ezra early on. Ten e oh, okay, that's that's the lowest you can go, right? 
Just like by the children of Mammon, that's fine. Uh, just make sure here that we have everything. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, give me this quest for a freebie, please. All right, we've got one artifact already. And two artifacts. Great. Um, I don't know. It, dep it depends. I mean, if you get lucky and you actually find something that you can sell for uh, a consistent, you know, like uh, copper nuggets, that kind of thing, silver nuggets, it's okay. But yeah, I guess having a low ego can be hard, but I feel like out of all of those, it's probably the best one to go low with. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, there are ways to basically get infinite water as well. Take these. And take this. Level 2. Give me a chest. So you got a data disc. Another artifact. Uh, what is our intelligence? It is 18, right? Okay, we'll, we'll give this a go. Thermal grenade. Nice. Okay. Actually, didn't really look at what we picked up there. Uh, I suppose it doesn't hurt to have maybe a long sword equipped. We do have a whole bunch of copper nuggets, which is nice. You can, if you're if you're flying, you can fall to your you can stumble to the ground um, on the over map, right? Or is it only actually, like, in-game? Uh, either way, let's go try, uh, Roswell's. No baboons, please. Oh yeah, also we need to... You skip the early quests and go directly to the Rust Bells. Is this because early XP is really not that much? Um, me, you mean? What is this corpse over here? I'm just a ray cat. Okay.
All right, there we go. Our corrosive gas was leveled up. We have an attribute point. I'm going to dump that into willpower. And I'm going to take acrobatics. Oh, I love going to Rust Wells uh, as soon as possible. Unless you have baboons, it's normally quite easy, I find. I'm the other way around, Vasco. Like, I still haven't really played Trukin very much. I find mut mutants are a lot easier and a lot... I don't know. They just make a bit more sense to me. Get him. No, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Friggin' jilted lovers, dude. Please stop. Is this dog angry with me? No. Oh, what do we have here? Still Warhammer. I'll sell that. Sorry, dog. Mutants are much. E hey, Stormbringer, welcome back. Mutants are much easier than. Tri yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, I find that they are, but a lot of people seem to much prefer playing uh, Trukin. Yeah, this is definitely not a, a strong early build, uh, early game build. Alright, die please. Okay, we didn't get grabbed, which is the important thing right there. So now we rest. And now we rest. Never mind. Is is that a, like a bug where the the pistol is still aiming at your previous target? That's really annoying. Mutants have a special ability source tied directly to leveling, so it's easy to get. Yeah, I, I feel like to, to get good at Trukin, you need to firstly get kind of lucky in finding good becoming nooks and implants, right? But also, like, you don't have to do anything with a mutant. You just level up, like you said, and it's done. Targeting is strained and works oddly with pistols. Yeah, it keeps targeting like my previous, and it's really weird. I guess I probably... Okay, I've been grabbed. Okay, I'm shooting the wall. Where am I shooting right now? Okay, we're gonna die, I think, unless we can... See? See? I almost died then because of the, I was shooting the ball like an idiot. <laughs> Alright. Any, uh... Any more iron? Any more copper wire? Does the bat hate me yet? No. Alright. Level 4. Give me another corrosive gas. And give me spry. And whilst we're here, also give me tactics. 
because I will want charge later on. Who can benefit a lot from game knowledge? Yeah, the only the only guaranteed ones I know are in uh, the Barathromite Enclave and at the bottom of the Rusted Archway. But I know yeah, they're super powerful, like way more powerful than mutants. But then I also think, you know, Espers are probably the most powerful class in the game, full stop, right? Alright, let's go down. And historical ruins, right, okay. Yeah, Espers are insane, but again, I, I I always prefer playing a Chimera to an Esper. Um, although I really love the Glimmer mechanic. I think a few people have maybe put off by it, but I think it's a really cool mechanic, you know. Um, the stronger you are... I mean, this is great with gas right now. If I can get melee, like, because these guys aren't going to come anywhere near me. Is this a friendly cannibal? No. How much ammo do we have left? Eh, a little bit. What's this freaking bat doing? Get out of the way. Okay, that crab gave some really good XP. I wouldn't mind finding more of those. This pistol bug is actually kind of doing my head in. To the point where I'm thinking maybe we should just take bow and rifle. How strong is a beetle bomb right now? Average. Okay. There we go, that was some nice XP. Alright, wings leveled itself up. And I'm going to take corrosive gas up to rank 6. Okay, that's good. This is a good start. We're, we're doing okay right now. Ezra and Id Freehold both have credits for sale. Oh yeah, Golgotha, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Hugo. Yeah, yeah, she does sell a, a credit. You know, if if you are um if you're playing as a, a true kin, how do the, the Pewters Templar feel about you? Are they still dicks or are they completely chill with you? Man, corrosive gas is cracked. I love it. Yeah, it's not It's not fun. The pistol thing's so annoying. He's Vasco, uh, I think I'll go mutant next time. Can't go his right hand. Just got infected with glo- Oh, okay. You know how to fix that, Vasco? There's a book that you need to find. There is at least one guaranteed location for it to get rid of the infection. I kind of like getting fungal infections in CUD because it's a, a little kind of mini quest in, in and of itself. Pewters start favorably. They'll also, they still end up hating you during the main quest. Right, okay. Yeah, the pewters are, they're not that challenging, I don't find. Although the, the, the Baraphromite Enclave quests, where you have to... Oh, I don't want to say because it's spoilers, but you know the one I mean. That's a really nerve-wracking quest. Ah, 
a whole bunch of crap to kill. Become gassed. <laughs> ah. I love it. Look at all this gas, dude. This all came out of me. Why does the bat hate me? We were cool a second ago. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, if you head head to the ape village and you'll get a, a guaranteed corpus cholis or whatever the hell it's called. Come over here. I do love the akimbo pistols. I think they're awesome. It's just the targeting bug is weird. I don't understand why that's happening. Yeah, everything ha yeah. They're, they're jealous. They're jealous of my gas, Basilia, is what they are. Because they know they'll never have gas like this themselves. What the hell am I talking about? Um... Okay, what should we have here? Wayfaring's always a, a, a gimme, right? True flatulence run. Yeah, I did make a, um... I did save a, a character that was like a... Like a fart... Fart bag. Um... Uh, I'll show you, Basilia, one sec. Um, give me... Give me tinkering. No, no, give me, give me wayfaring early on. And also cooking. Uh, so if you see here, Basilia, I will shoot this guy, right? Okay, he's dead. And I press F again, and if you have a bow or rifle, you will automatically target an enemy. But instead, I'll be targeting where I shot previously. So every time you have to manually change. I don't know if it works if you just shoot random. Like if I shoot that wall there, it still goes back here. It's kind of weird. Maybe it's not a bug, but maybe because it's, it's technically targeting this wall. But it's very frustrating because you end up basically wasting your ammo by shooting at anything but your your actual intended target it only happens with uh pistols i don't know if it happens with just single pistols but dual wielding it seems to always happen right have i missed any wire here keep going hit my windows key i need to buy a new keyboard i want to get um i did look into this and it does exist i'm going to get like a nice keyboard but with the numpad on the left hand side next to uh you know like caps lock and tab and stuff come over here crabby See, that time it... Hmm, weird. That time that the aiming worked as intended. But I also noticed the wall wasn't flashing. Maybe because... Right, so it targets... It's targeting the wall as opposed to what I... It's not auto-targeting an enemy. So I have to manually untarget. Weird. Uh, I don't think so. It's, it'll be extra good for me because I am, I'm a lefty anyway. Um, but also it means I can use the mouse with the numpad. Um, which would be great, you know? Okay. 
But there's probably a reason why they're not popular. Okay, I've been grabbed. Yeah, come over here, dude. Have some sleep gas as well. So good. Um, I could do, yeah, I mean, I'd rather not, but yeah, I, I totally could remap them. Look at all of this acid, it's amazing. I mean, I don't know what. I'm getting 10 XP per, per kudzu here. Oh no, the beetle bomb. Drop down the stun gas. There we go. One to each attribute. Corrosive gas we don't need to worry about for a little while, so I'm going to maybe put one into sleep gas now. Although wings would be great, but... We haven't leveled this up just yet. And give me... Maybe cooking. Or maybe I'll say for meditate. Being able to stand in the middle of your gas cloud and meditate to proc. I do have a standalone number pad, but the only problem is... Because I, I, I had it set up initially so it worked like a stream deck where I could press different buttons and they were all mapped to things inside Streamlabs, but you have to you have to download this program to, because by default Windows doesn't recognize two separate keyboards as separate. It will only it will think that they're both the same keyboard, even if they're, you know, different physically two different keyboards and i don't know it's just i'm, I'm trying i just want to streamline everything to the point where i don't need to but i i do have an external standalone numpad it's just a bit of effort to to get it all kind of going you know yeah give me this wire and get me out of this place i kind of hate rust wells i always find it slightly annoying okay there's the not go back that way. No, I suppose not, Basilia. I, I, I mean, I can just plug it in and, and use it as is, but, um... It's just... Oh, a double. Um, that just means that I've got more crap on my desk. Uh, you can't really see it, but, um... I mean, I'm not... I don't have OCD or anything, but I am very particular about how much stuff I have. Um, I get stressed out by having things, because <laughs> I'm a weirdo. Um, and like, wires? I mean, you guys would probably agree with me, like, there's something very stressful about seeing wires. Like... I hate it. I actually hate it. It makes me so angry. I've got like conduit that I put around all of my my wires just so I don't have to look at them. But then it's like every time you want to unplug something or plug something new in, you have to like take it all apart, and man, it stresses me out so much. Way more than it should, but I'm I'm just a weirdo like that. All right, let's go hand this quest in. Oh yeah, I forgot we actually did start a jopper this time. I'm coming, our guy. Wait. Uh, wrong button. There we go. We got our first recoiler. Did it come with a battery? That's the important question. It did. Is it charged? This is also an important question. 
It is not. Thanks, Argive, you piece of shit. You basically gave me a, uh, like a dead battery. Oh man, the kudzu stem was quite good money. Ooh, he's selling a symbiotic firefly. Oh, but it's like, okay, never mind. I do like the symbiotic firefly. Early on, anyway. Right. Go Red Rock. Oh yeah, I also need to take the quest for the Braffram. There we go. What level are we now? We're level 6. Okay. And I'm saving for Meditate. I don't think Tam has restocked just yet. Oh no, he has. Man, I was really hoping he would have a rifle. We've got a whole bunch of copper nuggets, which is amazing. No, it's not worth 1k at all. I mean, we do have crappy... Well, our ego's fine. Average, but... Definitely not worth 1k. Okay, shall we, um... Oh, wait, I have to read these statues real quick. Cool. And... Cool. Music th this place. That's definitely doable. Uh, I don't know if anybody answered this earlier. Used to have a running joke at band practice about random cable and leads. Man, I hate leads. And then the first person replied, Yeah, I hate all cities north of Birmingham. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I've been to Leeds a couple of times. It's, uh. Yeah, it is what it is, you know. I love all cities north of Birmingham, though, to be fair. But that's great. Can I can I fall down by the way on the overmap? Oh, I can still get lost. Okay, that's all I needed to know. Okay, I don't want these horses to be mad at me. I don't mind, I found somewhere. We found Bitara. Should we chew through these um On, keep going. That is is that a two headed slug snout or is it just a two headed boar? Okay, that's fine. Come over here. No no no, this is my XP. Is the bat angry? No, the bat's cool. Okay, those are first vessels. Newcastle. Uh, I've, I've only been to Newcastle once, a um, very long time ago, and it was great. I've mostly been uh, on the on the west coast. I've been to Liverpool, a whole bunch, Manchester. Um, between carbide chef and trash divining, I have endless supply of secrets. Yeah, I, I love trash divining. I probably overvalue it, to be honest. Okay, this guy hates us because he's stood in our acid like an idiot, like an absolute dipshit. Come over here. Move. But yeah, trash divining is, is a great skill. There we go. 
What did he drop? He dropped a whole bunch of crap. This is great. We picked up vine wafers, 41 drams of water, copper nugget. But also, we will start wearing all of his... We're going to become this guy. Uh, equip. 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 I will take that to sell it. As well as this. You're crashing the secret, yeah. You're, um... You're on that trash coin life. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I often forget that I have ranged attacks with this character. I mean, that guy stood in my gas and then had the audacity to get angry with me. It's like, dude, come on. I think if we're smart, we could probably kill those Equimax. Uh, and they'll give us some good, uh, some good XP. Um, okay. I hope the centipede wins, to be honest. The aloe volta can piss off, that's for sure. Okay, did you kill the turret centipede? Also, fly me, please. You did kill the turret. Okay, that's... No, there's another one, though. We've been exposed by our own farts. Okay. Let's try that again. The one upside to having Amphibious is that first thistles don't make... It. Yeah, true. Amphibious is actually not that bad in terms of defects, you know? Hide. No, hide even more. Oh shit, okay, shoot. Hey, there we go. Hey, we have uh, more quickness now. That's not bad. That's two extra quickness. And we can now buy... Uh, what was it I wanted to buy? Self-discipline. We want meditate. Because it is great. Where the fuck are all these centipedes coming from, dude? Now I can just stand here. Oh no, never mind. They came to me. What I was trying to say is now I can just stand here in the middle of my fart cloud and just wait for Meditate to proc and heal up super quick. Cool. Ah. Grab, nice. Good XP. I like this combo. It, it's not very strong early game, but I'm hoping that come late game, this is going to be absolutely cracked. We're basically going to be knocking out an enemy. They're going to be falling asleep, and then we... I don't know. I guess we fart, and then they just die. Also, we should really be flying as much as possible. Never mind, we, we need to get to level 6 flyers. What are we at at the moment? We're at 3, okay. Uh, they, they, do, they do overlap. Um, I think I was testing this the other day. I think, uh, wait, I think I was testing this. So if I release them both on the same time. See over here, you do still have... Sleep and Corrosive. So I don't think they supersede. I don't think they're overwriting each other. And you can see more gas is now seeping out from underneath if I pass turns. So they do, de they do definitely seem to overlap. Okay. 
because I was that's what I was worried about initially. I was like, is this just a waste? Uh, okay, let's let's just mess this whole map up if we can. I guarantee this is if we're gonna die, this is where we're gonna die initially. I'm just I don't want to hurt the Equimax, but okay, they're still cool. I guess I should start shooting these uh, Snapjaw. Okay, now they hate me. Okay, cool. Damn it. I'm just gonna stand here. They're not gonna come to me because they're trying to avoid coming in. How much XP did that? That gave 350 XP. That's amazing. All right, we are now knocked prone for five turns. Slowly, the, the worst thing that could happen now is that we run out of bullets, which is quite likely to happen. I do kind of want to loot this chest before... Um, And there we go, we pop our gas again. Shoot this horse to death. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, do you guys, you guys are mad at me, okay. Well get this, I'm gonna fly and then I'm gonna gas. Good luck. I'm still thinking about that build we tried at the end of last week where we had um, Flaming Ray and it basically recharged as quickly as uh, we used it. That would be incredible. Get the hell away from me. Okay, level 8. Wings. All right, what do we take? Uh, we do now have access to jump. Um, and we'd also be able to jump five squares in total, which is pretty great. Uh, pretty great. Can we get we can get weak spotter at some point? Flaming Ray with cooking, but it's bugged. Really, what what is bug bugged about that? Uh, I think I'm going to take Tinkering, just so I can get Tinkering one, and it's going to be a little bit easier to start making some nice items and. Hopefully be making our own bullets as well, would be great. Uh, you see an irritable tortoise to the northeast. Oh yeah, yeah, I see him. Beaded bracelet, sweet. Alright, we got two quests out of that. I think the key to this build is to just kill everything early on and try and um, cheese being in the air. Oh, we don't have harvestry, do we? I forgot to learn it. Some witchwood there. That's okay, right. 
Uh, where were we going? We were going to this place. Yes. You take flaming ray, it gives you a natural weapon on your worn hand slot. If they get served, you lose the flaming ray. You gain it with cooking, it doesn't appear, and you try to use it to get the message your hands are too damaged. Really? Huh. I did not know that. Weird. Um Let's call this the I know. I'm just going to call this Leroy. There we go. Boom. Alright, who do we have here? We have some angry crows. Even though they should love us. And pigs. Oops, I pressed. Uh, wait, hold on. Let me unmap swoop. I don't want that map to anything. Um, how do you unmap something? No, no, no. I don't want to enter. Um, you just, oh, is it just delete? Okay. Delete is already bound. Oh, I just pressed delete without... Ah, in... Oh, Basilia, sorry. See, anytime now I get, like, some really uh, good uh, knowledge about this game that I didn't know, I automatically assume it's in Lino. But it turns out you've, um... You've got the knowledge now, Basilia. You've got the true card lore. Alright, lots of trash enemies here. I don't think you can, um, you can't dominate a slime, can you? Because it doesn't have a brain. I think you, um... I think you can maybe proselytize them. Alright, I'm here for the books. Give me the books. This is just sweet, sweet... Uh, XP. Fine. Come over here. Become gassed. We've got an illuminated book there. This is so much XP we're getting right here. Couple snap jaws. Oh wait, we're not flying. I feel like uh, knowing the the key bindings is uh, it's like half the battle, you know. Like I've been playing some um, some Cataclysm DDA this weekend. Now you know, card is a deep game, but Cataclysm is like on a on another level completely. And I've forgotten so many of the key bindings, and it's frustrating because. Firstly, there's about 100 different key bindings in Cataclysm. But I used to know them, like, off by heart. So I feel like just being able to remember the key bindings uh, is a pretty valuable skill, you know. Granted, it's been about a year and a half since I last properly played Cataclysm. Um, 
But man, I love that game. What a crazy game that is. Got to donate these books. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to get to the still at the very least today. Um, I'm going to fly over there shortly, I think. Hopefully not get lost in the desert. Weird artifact, huh? Yeah, so whenever I use gas now, I'm trying to, like, basically run a, a circle around it. Um, <laughs> and trap it, which is terrible, but... I also like the fact that the, the enemies do try and look for, like, you know, they're, they're going to look for a way through the gas, which is really cool. Some desert chrises there. What is our... Oh. Where's our dodge value right now? I can't see because I'm picking up so... Okay, it's 8. Okay. Man, this is a whole library. We just destroyed everything. But well, there's a way down. What do you think? Yes or no? I am always tempted to, to explore. I mean, there's going to be a faction leader here. Maybe we'll get some rep with somebody. This arranged build actually likes... Yeah, yeah, narrow hallways are, are going to be great for us. But speaking of ranged, we have 21 lead slugs left, which isn't great. Um... So, let me fly, and then take me back to Joppa. Mm, sure, I'll do it just so I've marked them on my map. Great, start me right next to a friggin... Yes, am I still flying? I am indeed. Okay, cool. Right. Tam, have you refreshed? Yes. No, you haven't. That's the downside to flying, is you move around the map uh, much faster than you normally would. So it does mean it, you have to kind of seemingly wait a bit longer for um, things to restock. Let's see what we have here. Another. I keep finding so many jackhammers now, it's in insane. Oh, a counterweighted folded chair, nice. Um... Yeah, I'm definitely going to go back. Just need ammo. Um, I'm kind of tempted to try and fly over to the stilt. Get it out of the way early, you know? What do you reckon? I mean, we're not... We can still fall down, but... Um... So I can unmark this place now. Uh, we've been there, right? We completed that quest. We've got to go to Telep. Okay. This isn't Telep, right? No. Oh. I mean, uh, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to start moving over here. Well, look at that. We actually made it the whole way. Insane. You'll never see that again. We've only got one bit of lore for Reshef right now, but that's fine. Because there's another bit inside this tent. Like this guy doesn't even know to look inside his own tent. Okay, Irritable Genome put wings up to level 5, that's perfect. We also get an attribute point. Uh, how many? We have 113 skill points. Okay. Can we go another level of willpower, do you think? 
I mean, agility would also be nice, but I think I'm going to go willpower again. We can now learn um, tinkering as well. Which might be nice. I'm going to go willpower. Yeah, you agree. Yeah, okay, good. All right. Plus four, not bad. Yeah, give me Tinker One. Give me a good... Ooh, two really good ones here. I do like Serrated, but high capacity is going to be great for us using a, a range build. Helps cooldown, mental armor and regen. Yeah, exactly. It's, um... It's kind of cracked having high agility. Uh, willpower, I mean. Holy crap, look at all these books. Wow, we had a data disc for a thermocask. What level is this? Tinkering 2. This allows. This is the thing that allows you to pick up uh, lava, right? I will learn this, yes, thank you. Yeah, I mean, like you said, it's not great below... below ground, but um, above ground, it's it's pretty nice, to be honest. And if you get it to level 6, you never fall down. Unless you're in combat, there's a chance, but... Uh, I will drink with this guy. Uh, no, I don't want to learn first aid. Let's sell a humble pie. Right, let's go hand the books in real quick. Maybe speak to the warden here. Disliked by dogs and winged mammals. Hmm. Maybe not. What does this guy sell? Carbide shield. Right, I wonder what she's going to be this playthrough. Okay, she's a water vine farmer. An apple farmer, sorry. Look at all this. This is going to be a lot of XP right here. Yeah, I know. You you do love Esther. I would, if she wasn't hated by dogs, I would absolutely share my water. But I, I can't, you know, in good conscience, give water to anybody that hates dogs or is hated by dogs. Right, uh, let's see how much XP we get for all of these books. Is there anything here that gives a particularly juicy amount of XP? We've got a couple of seven, 700s. Anything over a thousand? I do not like the way this scrolls using the mouse. Uh, we've got one 800 here. Anyway, let's find out. Twelve thousand XP. We're about to level up quite a bit, I think. Level ten. Level eleven. Oh, I thought I really wanted one more. One more would have been amazing. Not bad though. Halfway to level twelve. Uh, irritable genome didn't kick in. We have level six. So here, look, if we take level 6, we have 0% chance of falling down clumsily to the ground. So as long as we're not in combat, we can't fall down, which is great. Plus 70% move speed while sprinting. Amazing. Alright. There we go, there's our Ibu genome. Sleep gas has gone to level 3, that's fine. And we now have... I mean, I should really take Disassemble. And what do we want after this? I think Jump's probably worth it now. It's worth noting we don't currently have any melee skills. Is it worth ever taking Fasting Way? I mean, the metabolic effects from meals lasting twice as long is really nice, but we don't have cooking yet. Anyway, I need ammo. 
Somebody give me some friggin' ammo, please. Uh, you can have some water. Nice. You do sell some lead slugs. Yeah, agreed. We don't need fasting just yet. Alright, we have perma flying now, which is nice. Let's see what we have. Hey, Cosmic. I'm good. How are you? I was lurking in your uh, your stream earlier. You were playing uh, a bit of Noita. You had a really cracked wand that shot out like, I don't know, dandelion spores or something. Yeah, that's true, Basilia. I, I wish, um, I mean, I get, I understand why you get hungry traveling the over, over map, but. Uh, what do we want? I guess nothing until we have cooking. Maybe I'll buy cooking next. All right, we got a gunsmith here. Hey, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I know I know this person, IRL. Thank you so much. I won't say your name, but also you know I can't pronounce your username. <laughs> here, have some uh have some high quality emotes right here. Yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate the uh, the sub. I'm getting that Jeff Bezos money right now. Are you um are you playing some some league right now? Uh literally as I said it, you said you're going to play league, of course. Thank you. I will enjoy the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your uh, your league sesh. Remember to pick the one that's got like the uh, the guy that's a tree. He's terrible, right? You mean me in real life, cosmic, or the character? Because both are true. <laughs> This is an incredibly gassy character. Ivan. Is that what that guy was called? Ivan? But yeah, thank you so much for the... Uh, you scared the crap out of me, by the way. That sub noise is insane. I was thinking of making my own noises for, like, follows and subs, but um, I don't know what they would be. Maybe I can, like, get a rat sound. Like a rat squeak. Uh, what is this guy? This is a grenade seller. I don't care. Oh my god, look. It's a putus guy. Bum, 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 bum. That's a good price for an Elastin skull cap. I think. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Do the stilt vendors ever upgrade their inventory? Um... I actually can't remember, Basilia. That's a great question. If Enlino is in the chat, they would know, but um, I, I honestly don't know. I feel like I ha there have been times where I found some really great, uh, like, <clears throat> mid-game stuff. So maybe they do? Yeah, they all do. Okay, thanks, Cosmic. 
Uh, let's put this Elastin skull cap on. I guess it doesn't hurt to have a wooden buckler. Um. Oh, also, let me just. Oh, we don't have any. We must have. Wait, did we buy a uh, disassembly? Yeah, we did. Okay. They'll restock, but they won't upgrade. They're always drawing from the same pool. Okay, and 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 where and that pool that they draw from, is it? It's not level based, then. It's just random. Like, is there a chance that they might occasion? Because they they do seem to mostly have early game stuff, right? Um. Do I have enough copper nuggets to swap for? No, I have enough for one of these. And I'll take 60. Bum, 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 bum. A game redeem. Uh, a game redeem? Uh, what do you mean, Cosmic? Do I have a list of games to choose from? You mean for streaming? There's quite a few that I want to play. Like, uh, Noita. I saw you playing Noita earlier, and I was like, yeah, that, that's a great game that I definitely want to get back to. Oh, the cheese, of course, yeah. Sorry, it's been a while since I added the the game redemption. Um, I do not currently have a list, but I will I will maybe put, like, an exclamation point, uh, cheese or something, and have, have the list there. My, my list would probably be, um, Noita, Cataclysm, and maybe... Maybe Spelunky 2. I've been watching a lot of Spelunky 2, and that game is probably the most frustrating game that I've ever played, but also it's like a really good game. You have a list? Yeah, oh, yeah, that would be great. Yeah, if you can share it somehow. Um, What do we have? Do we even have gloves yet? Have we even unlocked the technology to have gloves? No, we don't have any gloves. So let's buy some gloves. Uh, I do like ape fur gloves. But really we're going for for high DV, right, on this character. These are woolly, so they're basically ape fur gloves, but with extra agility. I mean... And the apes don't hate it. Well, uh, okay, I guess that... Uh, maybe links need to be... I don't know how to do that just yet. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, yeah, give me these, please. Definitely don't want a jackhammer. Uh, what does that leave? That leaves us about 50 drams. What's that? Our dodge value is 11. No, I, I, I will make... Uh, I will maybe make a, a thing that you can redeem for me to instantly switch the game. But yeah, right now I'm loving some cud. Um... No, the link didn't pop up. I th I feel like maybe I need to... Um... Let me see if I can do it right now real quick. Um... It didn't pop up. Did it pop up on anybody else's end, by the way? It didn't pop up for me. But maybe that's because my... Uh, let's see... 
chat settings. Hmm, interesting. No, for me, it just gave me, it just looked like three stars. Uh, I will actually have to work on that because I don't know. Does anyone know off the top of their head how to, um... I've got level one auto mod on. Block hi Oh, here we go. Block hyperlinks. There we go. If you post it now, that should go through Cosmic. Fingers crossed. Okay, it's asterisks for you as well. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Mm, maybe I need to restart the stream. No, it didn't work. I have turned a. Uh, I have turned block hyperlinks off. Oh, I know what I'll do. Um, one sec, Cosmic. Let me VIP you. I should have done this anyway. Let me VIP you and then tell me if it... Uh, if it works. You're now VIP. Right, let me, um... Okay, thanks, Cosmic. There we go. Yeah, that worked. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. I shall save that and take a look after stream. I already see some completely pog games on that list, though. I'm really looking forward to Darkest Dungeon 2. I haven't touched it because obviously it was Epic exclusive for a while, but it's coming out on Steam pretty soon. Am I right? Thanks, Cosmic Man. I appreciate that. Uh, what have we got? An apple seller. Another grenade seller here. Dromad Caravan. Always good to see. As long as they don't run away, that is. No, don't run. Alright, well, maybe we'll catch up with them. Yeah, full release. Yeah, I, I love Darkest Dungeon 1. Any kind of, like, roguelike or roguelite, roguelite with, um, like, persistent, you know, named characters. Um, like, I was thinking the other day, I, uh, I friggin' love XCOM, like, so much, and I would love to stream it. That's still, XCOM 2 is still such an amazing game. Um... Yeah, two two looks a lot different and plays a lot different from what I understand. But um Did you play it already, Cosmic? Silver Nug? Uh, I guess I don't really need that to be honest. Alright, I'll just take the ammo please. Shoe seller. Do we have shoes? We've got leather boots. We probably aren't going to be able to afford much else. Empty. But yeah, I, I always have cravings to restart an XCOM 2 run. Um, And it would be cool because I could name all of the characters after like viewers and stuff. I don't know. Maybe that's something I'll uh, attempt uh, in March at some point. 
I do want I want to make the most of streaming card because I seem to have you know this is sort of it's a good game that I genuinely love playing and um it's doing okay in terms of streaming you know um but I would like to add a little variety at some point um for sure yeah you got it on epic when it launched but not much was uh was waiting for full release to play more yeah I I have a problem with um I understand, you know, you can't have a monopoly like uh, Steam, have, you know, all the games being bought on Steam. But at the same time, I like all of my games to be in one place, you know. And um, it stresses me out having multiple logins for multiple sites. And so I'm one of those weird people who uh, will only buy. Oh, we do have a, uh, a thingy over here. I'll only buy my games on Steam, to be honest. I'll take the free games that come out on Epic, sure, but, um... I just like everything to be in one place. That's why I haven't touched Hitman 3 yet. I know that's now out, it's been out on um, Steam for a little while, but, um... I don't know. Yeah, your favourite. It's not attacking me, though. I mean... Uh, Basilia, the clone machine. Wait, where was it? I just saw it. It was up here, right? Yeah, this one... I don't know why the one you had attacked you. That's so bizarre. By the way, did you see that, that Hitman 3 has, like, a... Like, a roguelite element game mode now? That looks amazing. Did I speak to this dude? I think I did, right? Yeah. Alright, let's go. I guess we can go do the... Uh, the Red Rock quest and... Oh wait, I need to remember to fly. Are you walking through the forms? Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm just flying, luckily. The f yeah, the fawns are such a pain. Um, let's fly down. So far to go, though. Um, do we care about doing Red Rock? I don't think we do. Do you think we could fly all the way over? I mean, we can still get lost. That's the problem. Do we have wayfaring? We do... Hmm. I think I should take uh, Wilderness Law Jungle. It does give you stim packs, yes, true. It's normally at least one salve and an Uber Nostrum. Ah, uh, yes, we did only do the top floor in Lino, yeah. I will take Wilderness Lord Jungle, by the way, just because it's it's great. But yeah, let's go finish this. And then I will check out these ruins and then I'll leave so we know where where this is. Oh never mind, they're friendly. Um yeah, sure. Come over here. Maybe come back here. Um it was this one, I believe. Is it? Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, we only did the top level of this. Oh yeah, I, le I left because I needed more ammo. There we go. I still don't have as much as I would like, but something, right? Okay, some more lore there. Sweet. Also, let me just... Okay, no, never mind. Alright, let's get looting.
Oh, they came around the other side. Smart. Man, I, I actually really love this build. Alright, let's keep going here. An obscene amount of gas. Harvest in the flower fields has gotten me much wit yeah, which witch bark is is great. Uh what is the build? I will show you. Uh Lacia Stracia. By the way, welcome. Uh this is our build. So we have irritable genome. We have wings, we have sleep gas, we have corrosive gas, and we also have heightened quickness. I'm prioritizing uh Wings, sleep gas, and corrosive gas. Although wings can take a bit of a breather now since we've got it to level six. Um and we're basically doing a high willpower, kind of high agility kind of build. Um and I'm just trying to shoot everything basically. If I can avoid getting into melee at all, that would be great. Uh but yeah, we're we're just gassing the whole map to death basically at this point. I mean, do, what what do I have equipped? I have a a bronze longsword. I should probably up upgrade that, even if I don't intend to use it very much. Hmm. This is just this is a rifle turret, right? Let's start by doing a little beep boop, and then hiding here. I love the fact that corrosive gas just eats through walls. It's so good. And there we go. Problem dealt with. Yeah, I just... Because we have quite bad toughness, I just don't want to get, like, pinned down in a hallway by a... a... Ew, a gentling. Should we wear it for a laugh? No, let's not. But I will take it. Uh, okay. Right, let's head on down. Good news is we've got a whole bunch more books, which means more XP. Makes the room big. Yeah, it's like the, it's like a TARDIS, right? We go into a small room, we let off the gas, and oh look, suddenly it's ten times as big. It's like the, the Doctor Who of Cud. Doctor Pooh, considering we're fighting. Sorry. Um, fungicide grenade, okay, sweet. I'll take all of that. I'll take all of that. Take a folding chair. Alright, we got another artifact quest. There's also a friendly mechanimist down here. As well as a becoming nook. Kind of interesting uh, underground bit here. Uh, before I attack you, let me check. Alright, you're a haberdasher. Which means I can probably attack this slime just fine, right? And they're not going to attack me. What do you have? Grassy yet yeah, mats. I don't think I've ever equipped any of that. Got all these books. All right. And then we have one more way down here. Hoping for maybe a legendary. If I use corrosive gas here, will it um, destroy statues? Let's find out. But another artifact quest. Okay, no. Oh, it does. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I don't know what that means for me. I didn't mean to desecrate the statue, I promise. It just happened. Just 
stupid. I hate these things so much. Okay, we stopped. Why did we? Because we're hungry. I don't think I'll ever get tired of that. Come over here. Idiot. Tempted to destroy it wasn't desecrating. Yeah, well, you know, I it was uh, an experiment. An experiment gone wrong. But an experiment nonetheless, and I believe that we should always reward uh, creativity and a willingness to try new things, right? <laughs> oh my god, Lux. Don't worry about these birds, dude. You're the ultimate bird. What are we called again? Frank the... Frank the Falcon? Where's her name gone? I can't see it. Who am I? What am I? Delicious bookshelf. My god, these slimes are everywhere. Frank the Falcon Jr. You dated a falcon and had a son. I, I will take my, my absolute best care of him. Don't you worry about that, Frank. I hope that you and Mrs. Falcon are still together, by the way. All these books. This is a great place to find at, like, early game. Uh, okay, we're hungry again. That's fine. Oh, wait, did, did we level up? No, we didn't level up yet. Okay. We do have another stairway down. we still got plenty more room for books. Die. This does feel wrong, to be honest. Just destroying the map like this. This is a dis this is actually more books than I've ever found in a single place. Yeah, I'm I'm we the last so I don't know if you, I don't think you were here, Cosmic, but we am um, in the first level of this place. We found enough books to give us. I think it was fourteen thousand XP. That's a gelatinous wedge. That's actually kind of scary. Eh, not that scary. No. Um, but I feel like we could probably get at least maybe 25k XP out of all of these books. That that number is just completely pulled out of my butt. I, I, I'm not basing that on anything. It's just... That's assuming we live past this next uh, floor that we go down to. Alright. Make some food here. Yeah, I keep finding jackhammers in every playthrough. I've never used them, ever. Okay, we have a little bit of room for books. Uh, I'm going to peek, just stick my head down here and see what... I mean, I see a whole bunch of book... Ah, there it is. There's the chest that we're, we're all after. Oh, we have a legendary slime. Uh, leader of the clan of the mighty devil loved by the clan of the mighty devil hated by Joppa and hated by Snapjaws well my friend your days are numbered please step in step into my uh, my stink cloud right now 
And let's get this over with. How's he doing in terms of... Yeah, he's, he's about to croak. There we go. That was weird. I just heard a noise I'd never heard in Cud before. You haven't used jackhammers. Yeah, a lot of people um, seem to enjoy using the jackhammers. I think it's just because they're heavy. Um, yeah, I have became friends with Snapjaws. Uh, bef where the hell did where did this come from? Oh no! All right. Well, this is real bad. Where the hell did that come from? Not my precious books. All right. We stand here for a while and we get meditate to proc. Never mind, we're being shot by something else. All right, we stand here and get meditate to proc. That was that was uh that was close. Closer than I wanted. Yeah, I think that is what happened, Basilia. Yeah, uh, Lacia Stracia. This is a very, very fun build. Um, how much ammo? We do have some ammo left. All right, well, let's just stick our nose. Bastard. Good thing is, we can make our own. All right, I'm going, I'm going. All right, you know what? We don't go down here now until after we've handed all these books in because that was very scary. Originally for this build, I had, uh, I was using a carapace so that we could tighten it. And then I also had a force wall. Um, which would have been perfect for those. So this place, still unexplored, but... Alright, there's a whole bunch of stuff we're finding here. Uh, I will come back to this place later. For now, I just want to... Yeah, keep giving me ruins, dude. By all means. For now, I just want to get back to the stilt and hand this in. Me even normally cosmic. I'm like, you know what? We can do this. And then, like, me f finding the, the, the brain power to eat that witchwood. That was, like, that was me giving, like, using 2,000% of my brain right there. Normally, I would have been like, oh, quickly shoot him. Um, yeah, force wall is, 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 is cracked. But it's also expensive. But anyway, let's see how much uh, XP we get this time. Jesus. Tab. Select all. Here are all the books we're handing in. Um, 35k XP. That's 10,000 more than I thought we would get. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll level up once. Maybe twice if we're lucky. Level 12. One to each attribute. Level 13. Level 14. Level 15. <laughs> Um. All right, we're we've leveled up a couple times. Uh, <laughs> we got very lucky. Do we want a new? Here's the thing: we have irritable genome. This list is only going to give us one. Whatever it gives us, we have to have. So I don't know if we want um to spend our mutation points. I think I'd rather spend them on gas. What do you guys agree? Yeah, we got we went from 11 to 12, 12 to 13, 13 to 14, 14 to 15. So three levels so far. Uh four levels so far, sorry. Here's the thing though Cosmic, we have irritable genome, so normally where you get a list list of free mutations, you're only going to get one. I believe. So I'm I'm not going to rapidly uh Mutate. I'm going to save them. 
I'm definitely going to rapidly advance corrosive gas. All right, there we go. We leveled up four times. Not not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Normally I yeah, normally I would take a new one, but with this um whenever you buy a new mutation, you get a, a random one instead of a choice of 3. Uh attribute point willpower, of course. Um, what would be a good number to get our willpower to, by the way? Right, corrosive gas, that doesn't need touching for a while. Um, I mean, do we need to advance wings any further? Or is... Oh, really, Cosmic? I'm... Um, I mean, more quickness is just always good. I guess we level up sleep gas, right? Is this like priority? I'm gonna I'm gonna do one level of sleep gas. There we go. Irritable genome has put another point into quickness. And then, I guess, sleep gas again. And now we got wings up to level 7 as well. Alright, cool. I'm, I'm happy with that. You still get... Th oh, okay. The way I interpreted that is that you only get the one. But because it's from... Oh, from unstable genome. Right, okay. Yeah, we don't have unstable genome. I get you. Well, we have a whole bunch of points uh, to spend here. Right, jump is going to be really good. If we do kind of get into any danger underground. We can also get weak spotter. Imagine a couple of laser pistols. That would be real... Real good. I think we should spec into pistols a bit more. I mean, we do get a bonus from charge, but we're not really going to be using it because we're not going to be using uh, melee if we can avoid it. Let's go cooking. I just want cooking because I like cooking. I can get harvestry for free. Where can I get butchery for free? If you're buying one after character creation. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're garnering a good willpower to shoot for. 30 will give us a 12 turn cooldown. 12 turns at level 1. At level 10. Okay. Is there anything that is there anything obvious here that we're missing in terms of abilities? I do like trash divining, but we can't get it just yet. Short blade might be good with our um with our agility. Um We don't have jump yet, but we can take jump. I am kind of intrigued uh, to, to give that a go. We can also take Carbide Chef now as well. Hmm. 
yeah i i'm gonna i'm gonna go here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take i'm gonna take carbide chef even though we don't i'm gonna get but harvestry for free i'm gonna take jump in case we need it underground And then I think I'm going to save for weak spotter. Because I really want to be pushing this pistol build. Although I, I guess I could just buy butchery and spicer right off the bat to be honest. Because I can't remember where you get butch. I think there is somewhere you can get butchery from for free with rep. Less ambitious goal would be 28 willpower. That's a 16 round cooldown, which is how long we generate gas at mutation level 14. Ah, okay, yeah. We need to find that kind of diminishing returns cut off where we stop. I will take Spicer. And you know what? I will take Butchery then. Then Harvest I'll get for free. All right, that was cool. That was a good, a uh, good amount of books there. What we just turned in. Uh, I didn't see if this gun merchant had refreshed his inventory yet. I don't think he has. No, not yet. All right, we are still flying. Uh, let's go get harvestry for a start. I want to buy all the ca and <coughs> excuse me, have it all I can get right now. Uh, I think I'd rather... Oh, no, I can sell it. Normally, I disassemble those, but... That's fine. So many chairs on me. Um, Alright, we do need to be careful with our water here. We are kind of getting to the point where... We may run out of water. Okay... There's that bug where it bumps you out of the inventory when you do multiple disassemblies at once. Oh, I guess I'll do it like... 23 folding chairs. What? Uh, okay. That's a whole bunch of bits right there. I do want to start getting some tinkering. We have high capacity. Um, I think we got all those chairs from the same place that we got the um, all of those books. <laughs> uh, where is what is jump mapped to right now? Eight. Um, no, jump. You can be number four. Meditate doesn't need mapping, but well, you can be number three. You could set up for a concert. <laughs> I was saying at the start of the stream, um, I went to uh, I went to like a theatre uh, in East London with my friends, and um, they were showing Bridget Jones's Diary, which I'd never seen before. It's not really my normal cup of tea, but um, they showed it in a theater and they had like a like a host who was dressed as a wine bottle and there was like balloons and confetti everywhere you you got like a you had to buy a bottle of wine um you didn't have to buy a bottle of wine but you could you would drink wine and eat hot dogs whilst watching the movie it was amazing it was such a good um such a good time 
Uh, what is the extra ingredient you need for salve injectors, by the way? Is it, um... It's not Dreadroot, it's Lover's Blossom? Should I buy this? I think I should, right? If I have Harvestry... It's Dreadroot, it is Dreadroot, okay. Well, I, I think we should get it, right? I mean... Being able to make our own... There we go, we didn't have to pay anything for it. But I do desperately need to start getting some water. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to... Start looting as much crap as I can. Also, we are hungry. Do you think we should head... How much? Wait, we don't have that much. Oh, we have a little bit more. Should we head back to the... um? Finish this area off. It does give psychometry. Shit. Ah, oh, damn. Well, you know, there you go. Yeah, the the other the the cook the um the recipe in Ezra gives you I think uh, I can't remember what level it is, but it gives you psychometry. So as long as you've got something and you're willing to disassemble it, you um you're able to learn how to build it. It's cracked. It's completely cracked. But well, we have we have all of the cooking tree now, so that's good. Do you think we're ready to fly over? We do have Wilderness Law Jungle. We could fly to Ezra right now, couldn't we? What do you think the chances us are, are, are of us uh, surviving? Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking of Reverse Engineer, Basilia. Sorry. Yeah, I'm thinking of Reverse Engineer and the Tinkering Tree. Kind of want to just head back here. This place is absolutely insane. With rings. Okay, I'll do here. And then touch wood. Wait, speaking of wood, there's some witch wood here, dude. Why did you not harvest this? Do I have to toggle it on? That's just because I've been here before, I guess. It doesn't count. Okay, so after this then, we're, um, we're going to go to... Ezra. Uh, like super early, which is going to be cool. Right, is this the level where we were being shot? It's not, is it? It's the next one down. My gas is still here. It hasn't, hasn't dissipated yet. Oh my god, yeah. You can make eaters inject? Yeah, they're so good. Yeah, the R splice seeds are... Uh, they only occur in the Deathlands, right? Or what used to be called the Deathlands. But yeah, Eater's, je uh, Eater's Nectar injectors are insane. And I hate this. I'm just going to run up here and take my time here. And also loot all of the books. Oh, you got the 25% chance, Basilia. Oh. Please stop breaking all of the friggin... My gas is becoming too powerful. Uh, I guess I could jump over to where the gun is. I have a rough idea of where it is. Oh, it's right there. And then one more looks like it. I'm pointing at my screen as if you can see like an idiot. Uh, I have a rough idea where that is as well. So let's just get meditation to Brock here. Fuck, there's two. 
Oh no, bookshelves don't count. Okay, this is very bad. Come on, please. Fuck. How many times has this happened, chat? Every time that we're like, oh, we're going to go do something important now, I'm always like, oh, you know what? Let's just go back to this one place. And then... That was a good run. That was a fun run. We had absolutely insane... Um, let me just put a marker here. We had an absolutely insane amount of books. That was really cool. Yeah, see, like, I I always play classic mode in card. I, I don't know how you guys would feel about me playing um, the, the other mode where you can uh, save at checkpoints. I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about it, you know? But I really enjoyed this uh, combination of uh, corrosive gas and sleep gas. I almost feel like I don't necessarily need the sleep gas. By the way, here are our, excuse me, here are our stats. Um, what do we have? I mean, we, it was a pretty short game, that one. I didn't know there were two turrets. If I'd known, if I'd known that, I absolutely would not have jumped over there like an idiot. Um. <laughs> yeah, look, we got critted. Got critted a whole bunch of times. Um. Yeah, I'm kind of a uh, 70 player. 75 percent of your plays are ended by turrets. Yeah, turrets can be rough. If you choose one of the pre-made characters, you can redo it completely. If you like the skin, yeah. Yeah, low AV is what got us there, which is why I was thinking maybe the um. Maybe having the carapace or the, uh, or even better actually would be the, well, let, let's see. Let's do a little bit of a character crafting right now whilst we're here real quick. Um, right. So this is the last character we had, right? And then perhaps instead of quickness and honestly beak, I mean, I'm picking beak for the role play element of being a, you think low toughness is a bad fit for the gas build since you need to get next to stuff. Yeah, that is something I noticed in the early game in Leno. Well, before we made it to, say, level 10, like, I was always very nervous when I had to move next to things. Because you do. To trap people in your gas cloud, you have to literally stand next to them. So maybe we can either go carapace or we could get a force bubble. Um, Because we can shoot through force bubble. We could sack strength and agility for toughness, willpower. I, I know, but I need agility for ranged weapons, is the thing. Right? Um... What do you think would be better for this? Force bubble? I mean, force wall's a little cheaper, but force bubble's way better in my opinion. It doesn't last quite as long, but... Or carapace, which I guess is also quite cheap. Uh, yeah, I could get the agility mutation, but the thing is, 
because we're using irritable genome i mean we can change this it doesn't have to be irritable um you know the more things i take that can be leveled up the the less chance we have of but maybe i can take um i mean tonic allergy i really don't mind at all i think it's kind of ridiculous that it's worth four points um no it doesn't always proc but it almost all if if you level up multiple times in a row i think it seems to always proc uh every second yeah i i don't know whether okay well i'll tell you what then let's do this let's let's take tonic allergy it's not letting me well let me okay let's take tonic allergy i don't need thick fur that was just something i brought because we had random points to spend i don't need night vision i would like to keep beak if possible but i would be up for flaming ray like we did at the end of last week in lino seems really good um because it just recharges so fast but all right then let me get rid of beak let me get rid of sleep gas now first things first do you think we should go for a force bubble range character because we do have a kimbo right or should we go for just just go straight for flaming ray and just rely on 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 actual guns like pistols as a kind of backup last ditch effort thing so currently we have corrosive gas wings and heightened quickness i just feel like you know if we if we are going to keep heightened quickness it's pretty good to be taking physical actions, right? That's the thing. Carapace isn't really... Um... There is time dilation as well. That's actually a great point. Lacia, Stracia. Like, because um, the closer they get to you... The slower they get, right? Hmm... With time dilation being an ego, um, with a mental mutation, is is the cooldown? The cooldown is static, right? It doesn't change. It will always be one hundred and fifty rounds, right? I'm willing to give it a go, you know. All cooldowns scale with willpower, regardless of, okay, whether they're mental or physical. Okay, that I did not know. Thank you. Um, leaves us with two points. Um... I mean, we could just get Mental Mirror for the hell of it. But I think I'd rather have... Hmm. 30 round cooldown at 32 willpower. Okay. That's interesting. Alright, well, with these last two points then... Um... Yeah, do you, do you think? Um, I mean, it is three points there, so we could get our Flaming Ray, or we could get Freezing Ray. Oh, that has double the cooldown though, right? Yeah. What can we get for five? We can get Freezing Ray, multiple legs. 
that's it. We can get cryokinesis. Beguiling. But we don't want too much ego. Uh, mental freeze. Uh, cryokinesis, you mean? If we freeze stuff and then we gas them, do they still take damage whilst frozen? That'd be good to know. You're investing in willpower and our freezing ray can eventually hit the same five turn minimum as flaming ray. It does have a good. Okay. I do like Teleport Self, um, Cosmic. That is one of my favorite. Frozen stuff still takes full damage. Okay. I mean, yeah, Teleport Self is a good just get out of jail free card most of the time, right? But it's also very expensive. And if we're not going to invest into agility, and we're going to put it instead into... Uh, ego... Then I feel like, honestly, maybe let's get... I mean, what was the cooldown on this? 50 rounds. It's only got an 8 range on it. But that's fine. Hmm. There's pyrokinesis as well, right? Yeah, yeah, good, yeah, good call, Basilia. Um, I feel like I have a grey beard with the extra willpower. But Apostle also has proselytize, which could be potentially really good. With intimidate as well, if we get too many enemies around us, we could always try and get that to proc. And I believe there's also, where is it, Water Merchant. But I'm less interested in this. Self-discipline, he's got Fasting Way, Iron Mine and Wayfaring. Wayf Wayfaring's good. Yeah, Water Merchant's pretty great for, for making money with Snake Oiler. But out of all of them, uh, I think Apostle is the one that... Yeah, I was looking at Disintegration this morning when I was coming up with this build. Um, it's pretty fun, bashing enemies into rocks and things. But yeah, with, with, uh, with our Corrosive Gas, it's going to be kind of pointless. Um, well, I think I'm going to stick with Greybeard because Willpower is our main stat. And we've got five points here, so uh, let me just get... Let me just get Freezing Ray then. Pilgrim. Yeah, but I don't really care for any... Apart from Wayfaring, I don't really care for any of these. I mean, this self-discipline will come with meditation, right? But custom and folklore and proselytize. Knowing proselytize right off the bat is going to be pretty handy. We have apostle. But I feel like I want to go for willpower over ego. And yeah, if we get a stun rod. Normally there's a million stun rods that drop. Alright, well should we get... Um, should we just get flaming ray? And try and uh, 
Or should we go for pyrokinesis? What is the range on flaming ray? Nine squares. Okay. I don't think we can proselytize anything amazing, Greybeard. I'm going to take Flaming Ray and well, no, actually I'm going to take uh, what is the cooldown? The cooldown is 50. I think we can get away with Pyro, right? Oh uh, yeah, sorry, prayer rod, yeah. Am I going to remember to use time dilation is the problem. I don't see why not. Right, so we got the we've capped on willpower, which is great. We need more ego for sure though. So I'm gonna go back to default stats here. And we're gonna go let's just start by putting ego eighteen, let's say. Twenty willpower. Eighteen toughness. I do want a bit of agility. How does this look? Is this too um, neglectful of, of uh, other things? I mean, 24 willpower is great. Ego is really only going to be good for... Um... Oh no, yeah, we do have pyrokinesis instead of flaming ray. Well, that's fine. Do you think I should put one more point into ego? So it will level up pyro and um, time dilation? Yeah, exactly, Cosmic. That's what I mean. I'm not planning on learning more, no. I'm, I'm... But it, like Cosmic says, right? It's free levels, especially early game, if we have an okay amount of ego. Yeah, the vendor stuff I'm not too worried about. I always seem to have enough water. I mean, I would be open to maybe t taking out one more point of agility and putting it into intelligence, maybe. Let's do this. 10, 14, 18, 18, 24, 18. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know. Yeah, I can. I can do it normally. It's just, it's a nice bonus at the start. So how about 18, starting with 18? I think this looks pretty, pretty good. Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll go up passively. You like this, Basilia? Okay. Uh, oops. One more point here. Um. Well, I don't really want to put it into any of these. I guess agility for the chance to hit. I'm going to save this build as... Uh... Wait, do we still have... Yeah, okay. We'll call this Psychic Bird Freak. 
Dancing. Well, Frank the Falcon, RIP. This here. And we've already got the perfect name in chat for it. He's a bird. He did. I hope you're proud of him, Frank. He had a good run. He got a bit too, um, a bit too book, book greedy. Um, that was fun. That was really fun. Frank the Falcon had to fly so the cosmic mercenary could could soar. Okay. Um. What start do we want? Are you guys bored of the Joppa start yet? Or can I do this again? Or is there anything else that would be... Rep with insects. With reptiles. No, he was too much of a nerd, Frank. You should have you should have beat him more as a child. <laughs> as an egg. Um... I'm kind of scared of doing Salt Dune start with this character. I'm open to um, the others though. Uh, Joppa start is slow, but also it has the um, the dungeon immediately beneath the uh, pond. You almost always start in yeah desert canyon is 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 a good one should we do um i do like getting wayfaring immediately what wait before we okay no he doesn't have wayfaring okay yeah fine i just wanted to double check desert canyon let's go and the game has crashed love it Great job. Hopefully it will sort itself out. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, bear with me. I'm just going to restart the game. They did not fix it, unfortunately, which, um, I, I don't know. I mean, it's such a common issue that everybody's having. I, I, I was going to say, you know, maybe it's my hardware, but it's definitely not. Yeah, Salt Dunes is, is great for power leveling, but without reliable, uh, like, you know, like, um, Sundermind or something, it, it can be very hard with the Dawn Gliders, especially. All right, let's try this again. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this for uh for like another half an hour and then if this survives we shall continue tomorrow you've never had a crash like that in you know interesting hey slippery welcome back good to see you again it always crashes for you after you make a new save build yeah me too that's why i save them now i think cosmic said he has the same issue as well and basilia weird you know what this this sprite just reminds me of is Splinter from um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like, how much does it look like Splinter? It's actually obscene. That is 100% a rat wearing a robe with a cane. Right. Let's just... We have corrosive gas, which no, I don't want it on six. I want that on one. Uh, yes. I want toast on two. Yeah, I don't know. 
Berate. I'm literally never going to use Berate. Um, flies on 9, which is fine. And time dilation can be... Can be on three, I guess, for now. There we go. Yeah, I just alt F four now. As soon as as soon as it hangs up slightly, I'm like, you know what, rip. Um. Okay, we're looking for Tishram, the Wise, or Web Toad Nisham. All right. Guess let's, let's fly. Man, I, I've never played a game that has such a high POG delivery system, but at the same time, like, you always die when you least expect it, which is the sign of a great game, I guess, but I did not think we were going to die in that weird library place. Visit Kid. Hmm, maybe. I don't think so, though. I'm a rat. I'm a flying rat with a cane. A pigeon. A flying rat. Oh, there's a farmer's daughter here. Alright, quickly go in the building. Thank you. love to explore in here maybe i'll fart my way through the walls with my corrosive gas come on here we go Alright, let's get some, uh, <laughs> Dan the Dromad Merchant. We've never seen such a, um, what's this guy, wasn't it? Like a conventional name. That's the first time I've seen, like, a normal name in this game. Alright, what have you got for me? Oh, you're asleep. Wake up. Um, you've been speaking to lambs and discovered a nearby location, forgotten to our people... Workshop of Fashigawa, legendary shoemaker. All right, I'll check it out. You can find it by following the river that passes through the lair of drinks on the feathered serpent. Oh, that's kind of scary, but sure. Wake up. Why is everybody sleeping? Um. The Urquicus Paraboloid. They didn't reveal the location. No, located next to a legendary baboon. These are two quite scary uh, quests, but... Dan is indeed our man. All right, let's get the hell out of here and uh, let me mark these first. Eight parasangs north of Idf. Okay, we're not going there anytime soon. Yep, and yep, we need to go to these places. Um. This is the legendary... No, this is the shrewd baboon, which is kind of scary. I think we're just going to immediately die, right? Or are we going to power level? Uh, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, let's just leave this map. And fly. And then leave. And then... Little willpower action right there. 
Let's go, uh... Right, we, we can only do these for now. Let's go corrosive gas and wings. And I want to buy... Oh, wait, no, we can learn, um... I forgot to learn wayfaring. Yeah. Alright, let me learn wayfaring real quick. By drinking with these guys. My torch has run out. There we go. Okay. I guess there's no point flying until we have it uh, at the level where we no longer fall down, right? Uh, are you the person I... You are disliked by Mechanimus, but whatever. <laughs> Got to swap spit, yeah. Ugh. What a strange world this is. What's going- oh, you slipped. I was like, why the hell are we leaving the map? We slipped, literally slipped out of the map there. Can I drink with you? I cannot. There was one more guy. It must be this guy. Never mind. Maybe it was the Tinker. Yeah. Well, never mind. Let's go. Oh my lord. Oh my. Look at this. Oh, okay. They're friendly. Yeah, I don't know if they had a warden, did they? Okay, what did I want here? I wanted... Don't need cudgel. It will be any good to us. Uh, wayfaring? Yes. No, I was going to learn that. Shit. Yeah, I'm going to water ritual with them now. Um, we don't have a ranged weapon, right? We have a short bow. Okay. Let's take... Uh, where is it? Never mind. Uh, I don't like this build, I don't think. Like... Having low agility is really, really rough. At least early on. Like, maybe we'll get it up there eventually. I could save for meditate, maybe. Yeah, rip indeed. Still. Could be worse, I guess. Um... Yeah, give me bow and rifle. No, never mind, I can't learn it. Man, having no agility is really rough. Maybe we should, uh... Maybe redo this character. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, okay, I'm saved now, because I don't really know what to get. Right, let's see what rep you have. Hate by Craig. Yeah, that's fine. Have some more, dude. 
And I will teach you where the kid is. What do you have for trade before I do that? Nothing. Sweet. Trash divining is always fun. All right, well, we... I... What if we'd, like, sneak... Man, what an absolute crap hole. Um, <laughs> all right, well, let's start. Let's start by roasting this guy if we can. Of course, he's slightly out of range. I'm gonna gas, move forward one. Yeah, we're 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 dead. <laughs> yeah, that one did not go very well. I mean, I can't be surprised going into the desert. It's always, uh, it's always kind of rough early game, but the game really did want me dead there. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do with this build. I am, I do want to try this, but also I, I. I want, I want decent agility. I feel like Junior should be JN, not JR. That doesn't make any sense. This time I will learn Wayfaring properly. This is a much better map than that of a slime ridden hellhole that we started in before. No, I, yeah, I know it's the first and last letter, but it's just, it's, you know, sometimes I just feel like JN, it makes more sense than JR for Junior. I just don't like it. Or, or if you're going to have it, if you have, have three letters, you know. Have JNR and SNR. It's always been weird to me. I mean, that's it's not really something that, that you get in the UK, people who are like, you know, junior and senior. If people are named after their parents, then they just have the same name. Um... I know, it's always seemed very strange to me. Did it have, um... I believe there are certain enemies in the game that have that effect. Maybe. A long time ago. I remember seeing something like that. In like the Tomb of the Eaters or something. Wake up! Uh, they want us to desecrate a stone statue? No problem. We're great at that. Wait, what? Where is this place? Okay, it's not that one. Yeah, me too. This is why I like starting in Chopper, because it, it it makes sense. This is like a hellhole. Um, oh, you think it was just a bug that was causing the darkness? 
Um, okay, find a snap jaw fort. Uh, who else can I drink with here? I can drink with... The Borden. Uh, uh. Nice. Now let's go and drink with this guy and learn... Um... Harvestry. Uh, wayfaring, sorry. Boom. Okay, we did it right this time. We need to go here, and we need to go here. And we fly. Banter Bloom, that's what it is, yeah. I couldn't remember, I haven't seen him in so long. Anything dodgy here? No. Okay, sweet. Friendly village. A pig village. Cool. Uh... Give me wings. I'm sick of falling down. It's really annoying. Um. Is this where we have? Yeah, there's a statue. I think I see the statue already. We need to desecrate it. Destroying a statue is the same as desecrating it, right? Yeah. Yeah, way more peaceful. Um. Wow, they're all senators. Ah, the warden's one of these uh cool froggy boys. Is this a Svardim or a frog? Hmm. Okay. Flaming tar pits. All right. Uh, well, well, I guess we'll find out. I mean, we'll die immediately if. Oh wait, no, we can drink with this. He teaches death blocking. Okay. Cool. Do all of these guys uh, have the water ritual? Yeah, looks like it. Should really be reading who these um, fastest gun in the rust. Oh man, that would have been so good on our last character. I really kind of want to do more pistol. Um, Okay, swine are pretty cool with us now. Berserk. I want to do more pistol builds for sure. Rejoinder. Hmm. What is rejoinder again? Is that a... um? Either a short blade or a long... Yeah, it's a short blade. Once per turn, when an opponent misses with a melee attack, there's a 40% chance you make a free attack. Good skill, but not very good for us. Alright, I'm going to go destroy your statue over here. Please ignore me. And do not step into the gas. 
Okay. Alright, yeah, they, they, they don't like this. I fly. And they just let me leave. Okay, but I can't leave because the statue needs to be destroyed, right? Nice, there we go. Oh no, I can't leave. I need to go this way. Please ignore me. Shit. Yeah, yeah, it's part of a quest. I wasn't just being a dick, I promise. <laughs> All right, good. We're away. Let's go. All right, we did the we did the quest. Well done. Uh, give me some agility. No, I'll go willpower for now. Be cool to use some pyrokinesis. Uh. Okay, swine are cool with us, which is nice. I swear you used to be able to fly. Oh, I'm not flying, that's why. There we go, I was going to say, you should be able to fly over these. Here we go. Um... Uh, where is my... Oh, it reset all of my mappings. There we go. <laughs> ah, destroyed. Come over here. weird noise did you hear that right what is the cooldown on toast 28 turns right now all right wow they survived come over here please guy's a legend. What the hell? Yeah, it was a weird noise, right? Um. This build kind of sucks, to be honest. I don't really... I'm not a fan of it, but we'll give it a go. We released more snap jaws. And then we released more gas. Oh no, really? To a snap jaw? Take that.
Yeah, he does definitely need to be leveled. I mean, we are only level three. I, just, I don't know. I just never um, seem to enjoy mixing. Um, picked up a bunch of stuff, didn't we? Uh, mixing physical and mental mutations. Mechanical wings. Actually, a nice early game find there, but. Really need them. I mean, it will give us a whole bunch more rep, but. We didn't get a battery, unfortunately, in the stun rod. Okay, we're cool with... Yeah, pigs are cool with us. Uh, can we toast ourselves? Yeah, no, they do go together well. It's just, I don't... I just don't... I don't ever combine the two. I don't know why. Oh, okay, that's what the noise is. It's time dilation ending. Come up here. I dare you. Yeah, two-headed is a, is a great uh, physical mutation if you're going to be going e uh, Esper, for sure, yeah. I really want to know if you can toast yourself. I guess you probably can, right? It just seems kind of funny. All right, cool. Uh, did we haven't bought anything yet, have we? Just buy bow and rifle. Oh no, we can't. Um. <laughs> okay, can I get uh self discipline? I can get self discipline. All right, sweet. Yeah, I'm always surprised that phasing isn't a um, mental mutation. It seems like it should be, but... Bumper attacking doesn't do much at all. Our primary damage is going to be corrosive gas for a while. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, this quest was to go... Three to seven parasangs west of the Snapjaw Fort, where we are. Okay. Let's fly. Okay, we're lost. Never mind. Um, become gassed. And then become toast. Sorry, pig. You're in my way. Dragonfly hates us. Oh no. Um, there we go. Nice, we killed one of the Equimax. Over here! Oh, they dodged it.
Oh no. I'm hungry. That was pretty close. Um Swear to God, if I die to a dragonfly. <laughs> uh yeah, take it easy, Basilia. Have a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be back tomorrow, normal time. See you then. Take it easy. Oh yeah, mutation points to spend. See you, Basilia. Miss some more pyrokinesis. There we go. Damn. That snap jaw messed me up right there. Max, yep, angry at me. Get roasted. <laughs> I feel pretty bad for this guy. We've cornered him. There we go. Right, can we eat now, please? We can. Hmm. Does corrosive gas... Um... Cancel the uh, the pyrokinesis. Oh yeah, we're lost, aren't we? Hey, not anymore. I was just testing to see if... Yes, this is the layer, hopefully, that we're looking for. Yeah, nice. Now, what was the rest of this quest? Just to return. Okay. Yes. Let's go hand these in. It might mess with the visual effect, but... Oh, okay. I understand. Alright, and time dilation got bumped up a little bit because of uh, our ego increasing. Let's go wings. Alright, we do have enough for spry and swift reflexes now. Still don't have enough for bow and rifle just yet. What does pistol take, by the way? Is it the same? No, it's slightly less. Didn't one of these guys teach fastest gun in the rust? Or is this a, was that a different character?
That was a town. Ah, brilliant. Thanks, Cosmic. Okay, so we, we do have the option of taking pistol and then maybe buying... Would that still work? Why don't we try it? Um... Right, who do we talk to? We talk to... Legendary Pig Farmer and the Elder. Compass Bracelet, Fidget Cell, Blaze Injector, Lead Acid Cell, Fidget Cell, or a Symbiotic Bite. Mm, these two are... I don't know which one I prefer. I mean, Fidget Cell is great. Combustion Cell is great. Um, I do like the Symbiotic but Firefly. Early game. You don't have to worry about light. We can free up both of our hands. Firefly is more rare, but also to have free cells right off the bat would be kind of nice. But I guess we can find cells or, or build them at some point. I mean, a symbiotic. I don't think symbiotic is really that cool, it, but it's very good early game, and it it uses uh, the floating nearby slot, so you can free up. Your hands, which leads us to... We can buy two pistols, we can akimbo. Hmm. Ah, screw it. Let's take it then. got recoiler now yeah i hope i hope they are i've had playthroughs where i never encounter any but okay we got the grit gate quest now nice now before we end let's just see what this dromad has i don't think we spoke to him before you do have a chrome revolver very nice, and we can absolutely afford it. I will also take all of the ammo you have. Okay, cool. All right, we got one. Do we not have any better armor than this? No. Okay, that's fine. Guess I haven't really been looting, have I? Um. Okay, that's cool. Let's uh, quickly head over to this poor village that we ransacked. Um. It was this one, right? Never mind, we're lost. Lacia Stracia, thank you very much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Cheers. Um, right, everything now hates us because we're killing everything. And that's cool by me, you know? Oh no, we've been knocked prone. Get roasted.
That's a salt hopper. That could probably mess us up. Is it? Oh, it, it likes us. Never mind. And boars? Yeah, we're cool with boars. I just remember. There's mechanimists over here. Ah, there's a pariah. Please don't tell me it's this thing. Who is your leader? Is it the salt hopper? Hmm. They're fighting. Right, let's keep going here. Can't remember which one it was. Oh, 600 rep. Okay. We need to find some secrets before we could pick that up. Alright, cool. This character's growing on me now. Now that we've got a pistol at the very least. Um. Wait, where are we going? We're going to uh, eat real quick. Okay. Huh. Right, guys, it is about that time for me to end the stream. Uh, it's been a long stream today. I had a, a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying um, the corrosive gas builds, for sure. I'm going to be continuing this... Uh, this run tomorrow at 5.30 GMT PM of course it'd be insane if it wasn't what a stupid thing to even point out um thanks Cosmic you too man have a great night are you streaming tomorrow if so I shall pop by and I will also look at that list that you gave me thank you very much for that uh that list of games I'm gonna take a look through that and there might be stuff on there that I haven't heard you are okay cool well, i'll pop in then and i'll uh i'll, I'll uh, catch your stream for sure dude see you Alicia. thank you so much for the follow i really appreciate it frank you too thanks a lot for being here man uh frank the falcon r.i.p one of the greats yeah please come back it'll be great to see you again take it easy frank have a good one kovi always good to see you man thank you very much and thank you for the sub last week it really means a lot. Hope you all have a great evening or, or afternoon, wherever you are. And uh, yeah, we will be back tomorrow at 5.30 GMT for more Caves of Cud. More Cosmic Mercenary uh, shenanigans. Hopefully this one will make it past level 15. Won't do anything stupid. Um, and yeah, I'll see you then. Um, yeah, take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.